DevOps series. And in today's lab, we are going to uh, talk about the branching. Okay, we are going to create a new branch in our local repository. It is the same setup that we had in the last video, uh, which was the first video, right? So we are going to use the same repository, local and remote. We're going to create the branch in our local repository right here. Then uh, we are going to publish it to the uh, Azure repos. Then we'll see how it looks, where we can find, can we delete it? If we can, how can we delete it? And if it is deleted from the remote repository, is it also deleted from the local? If not, how can we remove it from there? Then we'll see how to create branch from the Azure repos as well. Then we'll look for uh, locking, locking a branch, why we lock it, how we lock it and then how to add a tag in, in the branch. So this is the uh, very brief uh, agenda for today's lab. So let's get started and we'll try to cover this from GUI and in next video, maybe we'll try to do it through command line just to cover all the aspects. So right now you see I'm in the same repository as we were working in previous uh, video, Parts Unlimited. We are in the master branch right now. If I click here on the master, you see I have an option to create a new branch. Now we want to create a new branch from master, of course, right? And let me give it a name as dev, okay? If I hit enter, it will give me all of the branches by which I could create the dev. I'm going to use the master branch to create this dev. Now I'm in the dev branch already. This is the same thing that we do with the help of uh, command line, like checkout thing, right? Get branch will show you all the branches and checkout will get you the branch that you want to check out. Okay, so we are in the dev branch. Now, this button right here will help you publish the changes that we have made in the local repository. What that means, that means it will publish this branch to the Azure repos. Right here, you can see I do not have any uh, dev branch. I'm in the under branch, under repos branches, no dev, but let me go ahead and publish it. I clicked on it, it's going to sync and it's going to send the information to the remote repo and we would start, we would have our dev branch showing up in there, right here, dev. You can see, dev. Uh, we got it right here. Now, what we can do, we can simply uh, click here and use the delete branch if you want to delete it from the remote repository. Let me click on here and delete it, okay? Now, the dev branch that we have created on the local repository uh, and publishes to the remote is deleted. Now, if we go back to our remote, uh, sorry, local, click here under dev, we still have the dev branch here because it's not deleted from here, it's got deleted from, uh, from the remote repository. And even if you see here origin dev, this is not even deleted from here. It is only deleted from the dev. Right, so we got two dev branches here. Local branch, because it's not deleted when the server branch is deleted. And server branch is there because it hasn't been pruned, right? So what we need to do, we simply need to uh, delete uh, the branch dev, okay? So what we need to do, Control Shift and P, it will open the palette. We need to use git delete branch. Okay, and we need to delete the dev branch. It should show here. Okay, I'm on the dev branch, that's why it's not showing. Let me go ahead and move to the master one. And now I'll do control shift and P and I'll do get delete branch dev right here. You'll select the dev and it's deleted. 
Now, what you need to do, you need to go and click on here again, and you would not see the dev branch. You will only see the remote because it's not pruned. Uh, so uh, let's go ahead and prune it. And how can you prune it? We're gonna fetch the Delta from the remote repo. So it's, it's very simple. We need to simply do git and fetch prune right here. This is the command we need to run. Now it will be removed from here. And if you click here under the output and you select uh, git, you would have all the information. It's, it's uh, verbose, you have all the information right here. This one is deleted uh, dev, it's deleted now. Okay, so till now what we have created, we did, we created a dev branch in the local machine. We publish it to the remote repository. We deleted it. Then we, get, we came back to our uh, local repository. We deleted the local one and also pruned the remote one. That's what we learned till now. Now what we need to do, we need to uh, do the, we'll create the branch from the Azure DevOps means remote repository. And we'll see, or what we'll do, we'll hook it up with the work items, which is available there because this uh, repo, this project I have copied from the Microsoft lab. So they have already done this for us for the practice purposes. So I'm gonna give it a name, uh, give it a name, for example, let me call it a feature branch and let me hook it up with a bug. And let's create it. So it's here, right? Feature started showing just now. So we have created one branch. And uh, what we can do, if I click here, we have everything in here because it is created from the master branch. So what we can do now, because this is not in our remote repository, if you click here, we do not have any feature, right? So what it means, it simply means we need to fetch it. Okay, so what is the command? It's git fetch. I need to click, click on here and it will get us the feature branch, okay? Now, if I click on master, we have the feature branch started showing here. Now let's go ahead and delete the feature branch from, from, from here, from the remote repository, not the commit, but the branches and try to restore it if we can, right? So what we need to do, we just need to delete the branch, delete it. If I click under all, we won't find the release branch here, right? But if you search it here, There we go. The point is you need to search it with the exact name, only then it will show you here under deleted branches and you can restore it. Okay, that's how you can restore it. It's not available, but you need to write the exact name. It will start showing and there you go. Now, what we need to do, we need to learn locking how to lock a branch and why we lock a branch well locking is a is is a, is something that we use to prevent new changes that might conflict with an important merge or to place a branch into a read only state well the best way to do that is the branch policies of course where uh, you decide what needs to be merged and pull requests instead of locking if you just want to ensure that changes in a branch are reviewed before they are merged uh, then it's, it's fine. So the point is locking does not prevent cloning of a repo or fetching updates made in the branch into your, lock, in, into your local repo. If, if you lock a branch, share with your team uh, the reason why and make sure they know what to do to work with the branch after it is unlocked, okay? The point is, uh, if you're getting confused, I couldn't explain it better. It is a lock so that nobody can merge anything, okay? But it's, this is still available to clone, to fetch, to read. 
And the best way to do it is the branch policies. So let's learn how to put the log on our branch. So let me click on the master right here in the three dots. There is the lock. If you click here, it is locked now. You can see the lock icon here. And now it is read only. And similarly, you can unlock it. That's how it works. Now we need to we need to uh, check how to create the tag. Okay. Well, tag is something that you utilize to give it a name to the final commit or maybe to the release commit, uh, and it will help you. For example, you, you tag the release as a version 1.1, so you're aware this particular tag talks about this uh, code which is released in the production or, uh, or, or like 1.1. Maybe you have multiple releases, so you can, the tag can help you out. So. It's very simple. You just need to go here in the tags and, and you can create a new tag. Click on here, give it any name, whatever name you wanna give it. For example, you talk about a version. Let's give it 1.2 point. Uh, okay. Uh, and we are doing it based on the master and we can say uh, successful release of this version whatever, which will give you the information. You can create it. And this, the, the final commit uh, would have this tag. How can you see this? You go to the commit and uh, here, this is the tag, which is on the final commit. So with the tag, you know, this particular uh, uh, commit or code or, or uh, released in the production uh, and it is successful. That's how, that's where the tag is utilized. Now let's check one more thing before we close this uh, call, this video. Uh, under this repository, we have a single repository, but we can have uh, multiple repository as well under the same project. So let me call it uh, new repo and we can create it. So un under one project, we can have multiple repositories. Now I'm in the, in, in the new repo. And for example, you're done with new repo and do not want it you need to go to the project settings. You need to go to the repositories. And from here, you can get rid of the repository. Provide the name and we are good to remove it. All right, so let's quickly go ahead and uh, summarize this video. What we learned, it's we learned the branching and how it works, for example, we, created the branch in our local, we publish it to the remote, then we learn how to delete it, how to remove it, how to prune it, how to remove the local branch, then we learn how to get the branch from the remote, then we also checked uh, how to remove it and restore it, then we talked about the lock, how, how to apply lock, what is the benefit of the lock, and then the tags, how can we apply tags on the on the release commits, that's the, and the benefits of course. And then we talked about, we created the multiple repository in the same project and deleted and learned how to delete it. So this is what the lab is all about. So thank you for watching. Let's meet in another lab where we'll be performing the steps and talking about it simultaneously just to learn better. Take care.